In this guide, we're going to run through the process of associating tokens to a couple popular Hedera mobile wallets that support HTS tokens. We're going to use Stator's HBARX as an example. Then we're going to transfer HBARX from a Hashpack wallet to those mobile wallets. This guide is if you've already staked HBAR with Stator and received your HBARX. We have another guide that takes you through the Stator staking process to create and deposit your HBARX into a Hashpack wallet. The link will be in the description. To explain associating HTS tokens, we're going to be using Descent and Walla Wallet, but the process should be similar for whichever HTS wallet you might be using. We are focusing on associating tokens today, not account creation in the wallet. So if you haven't already done so, download either Descent or Walla Wallet and use normal best practices to create or recover a Hedera account. Ensure that you have some HBAR in the wallet to cover the minimal fees associated with the remaining steps. To start the process of associating HBARX on the Descent main page, tap the plus sign in the lower right hand corner which will take you to this page. Then tap Add Custom Token. You will then be taken to a page where you designate which account you want the fees paid out of. Choose the one you would like to use by tapping it and click Next. You will be taken to this page. You can now exit the wallet and copy account number 0.0.834116 to your clipboard. You can also copy this number before starting. This is the HBARX creation account. Re-enter the wallet and tap Paste, which will populate the above field, and you should see HBARX fill in next to the symbol and 8 next to the decimal. Tap Next. This warning will pop up. 8 is the correct number of decimals, so you can click Proceed. HBARX1 will auto-populate, but you may change the name of the account if you would like. Once you've entered the desired name, tap Create. You will then be brought back to the Descent main page, and you should see an HBARX entry with a zero balance showing that you've successfully completed associating the token. On Descent, to get the address you will need to send the HBARX to, tap on HBARX and these options will appear. Tap Receive, and this page will pop up. This is the account number for your wallet. Walla Wallet is just as simple. Enter the wallet and click on the account you would like to associate HBARX to. Tap the account again on the next page and you will be brought to this page. Tap Associate Token at the bottom of the page. On the next page, tap in this field and enter the HBARX creation account 0.0.834116. Now tap Associate Token with account at the bottom of the screen. A fee summary will pop up. Click OK. You will be taken back to your wallet page and HBARX should be listed among the associated tokens. Here's the account number for your wallet. You've just successfully associated the token. If this process doesn't work, enter the settings and make sure that the fee account has been set up and try again. Now it's time to start the process of sending HBARX to your mobile wallet. Go to your Hashpack wallet you're using to store your HBARX and sign in. On the Hashpack wallet homepage, tap Transfer. Enter your wallet address for the wallet you associated HBARX to in this field. As discussed, for Walla Wallet and Descent, that is located here and here. Click Next. Select the asset here, in this case HBARX. On your first transfer, I would send a test amount. As always, the fees are so low the amount is negligible. Click Next. On the next page, verify the transaction information and click Send. If you get this error message like I did, make sure your computer clock is synced to the internet. The Hashpack team told me about this little issue and have entered a Hedera improvement proposal to address it. But in the meantime, you can just make sure your clock is synced. I'm not sure that this is what caused the issue for me, but my computer clock was off by about 26 seconds. I synced the clock, closed and reopened the browser, and tried the transfer again and it went through just fine. Verify that your test deposit has gone through and repeat the previous few steps to send the full amount, and you're done. You have now successfully sent your HBARX to a mobile wallet. This process will come in handy as more applications and uses pop up for HBARX, not to mention associating tokens will be critical as the HTS ecosystem grows. Changes to the Hashpack, Descent, and Walla Wallet platforms will happen, and this guide may not remain accurate. Staking comes with risks, including market risk, execution risk, smart contract code risk, regulatory risk, and custody risk. Staking is not suitable for all participants. You must fully understand these risks and have the ability to evaluate them and take due regard before participating.